Hello friends, welcome to the part 87. Part 86 is in the members area. You can click the link in the description or the join button below this video and become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. The free content plus the paid content will elevate your chances of clearing the certification. If you have not got an opportunity to subscribe, this is your opportunity and get onboarded with the cloud journey. Let us look at the questions. Which tasks are customer responsibilities? So you know, we all know that AWS has a shared responsibility model. What does this model mean? It is just like a marriage. There is a husband, there is a wife. Both of them share responsibilities. Okay, so similarly at AWS, as well as the customer, you as a customer, you have certain set of responsibilities. AWS has certain set of responsibilities. Now there are certain responsibilities which you as a customer would like to do, but you cannot do it because of the constraints, for example, uh, maintaining the hardware, underlying hardware. You cannot even get into the data center. So you have that constraint. AWS does not allow you to get in. Okay, so this is shared responsibility model. You may pause this part of the video. You can read or you can you know take a screenshot of this diagram, very important diagram. Any question that comes like is, hey, you know what? Is this an AWS responsibility? Is this a user responsibility everything gets clarified here okay so this is a very cool content now let us go one by one option a it suggests that you you can configure security group firewalls this is something which the customers can do it you or i as a customer can do it classifying company assets in the aws cloud this is again uh, a customer responsibility they will try to see like see aws has given you different resources now you if you are working for a bank of america and then there are certain set of resources that you created for bank of america this is your responsibility aws does not bother you or and, and rightly so because if it goes in and sees hey bank of america you know what you guys are saving credit card information and social security information then the environment is not safe right so that is why Option B is your responsibility as a customer. Okay, hooray, we had to choose two answers. We chose two answers, but let us still look at the other options. Option C, it says, you know, which AC to use for S3 buckets. That is a choice which you as a customer don't have it. This is something which AWS decides internally. You don't even get a choice. For example, if you are a kid in India, and if we ask you what you want to become it has to be a doctor and engineer it is not your choice you have these choices have been imposed on you you got to just follow the instructions patching or upgrading dynamodb this is again aws responsibility why because dynamodb is a managed service anything which is a managed service that means aws takes care of it it falls in aws bucket so aws will own that any patching, upgrading, and so on. Option E says you select EC2 instances to run AWS Lambda on. Okay, see AWS Lambda is a serverless uh, a service. Now, where does EC2 come into play? See beneath beneath AWS Lambda, even though it is serverless for you as a customer, but beneath it does use some compute. How it uses that compute? how it allocates that computer etc you don't even come to know since for you it is just a serverless service so this is something which aws does in the background which you are not aware of so these are my two answers now let us look at this next question which scenario represents the concept of elasticity in aws we need to choose two answers so the first one says scaling the number of ec2 instances based on traffic is this elasticity? Yes, this is elasticity. We use EC2 auto scaling for this purpose. What it does is it adds or removes the compute capacity based on the demands. If, the de if there are more users logged into your website, it will add compute. If there are less users logged into your website, it will remove the compute. It will not remove all compute, the extra compute. Now, if you talk about option B, resizing the RDS instances. RDS, what is RDS? It is a database, a relational database. If you want to host Oracle SQL Server in the AWS world, you use RDS. Okay. So if you are trying to resize RDS based on the business need, this is again elasticity because you want to store more data in the database, you resize it to store more capacity. 
if you want to decrease that now now you know that hey my organization has split there is a there is a demerger and uh, half of the data would go to a separate company a separate database then you do not want these kind of computes and storage spaces etc so you can go back resize it and resize it to make it smaller so these two are, are examples of elasticity so we wanted to choose two answers we have chosen two answers but still let us look at the other options option c says automatically directing traffic to less utilized ec2 instances so this is an example of load balancing and not elasticity in terms of using ec2 instances for uh, running your compute for example a website you got to use load balancer elastic load balancer and it tries to you know it is just like your team lead if that team lead got five people he or she will ensure that the work split is consistent across these five people and and nobody is overburdened or underutilized now option d is all about compliance it, it has nothing to do, do with elasticity you know if you are working for a bank in india there are rbi guidelines you got to stick to those guidelines so this is being compliant is not elasticity option e says having the ability to create and govern environments using code that means something like infrastructure as a code so that is called iaac so you can if you want to deploy five ec2 instances you can write a piece of code uh, with the configurations and so on just run the code the ec2 instances would get created it could get configured the way you like if you run that code 10 times 10 times the same number of ec2 instances with the exactly same configuration would be created without any human error this would be our final answer so we have chosen two answers for elasticity now let us look at this next one by the way part 86 has been uploaded in the members area cloud kernel cloud ninja members click the link in the description become a member gain access to the paid content the free content plus the paid content would help you elevate your chances of clearing the certification with so many questions at your disposal it is almost guaranteed that if you go through this playlist your chances of clearing the certification is very very high what happens is many times you would get a same set of questions that have been covered here it's almost a rip off from this playlist second even if it is not exactly the same that if you understood the concept behind this you would still be able to answer it they would slightly tweak the questions but you know the the basic underlying concept remains the same so that's why i always say focus on the concept the way we try to decode the options and arrive at the right answer so you have to test failures regularly and you want to validate the understanding of the impact of potential failures which pillar of aws architect framework is this so if you see this is well architected framework there are some good well architected guidance here and then you have these six pillars okay you have operational excellence security reliability cost optimization sustainability and performance efficiency so if we are continuously trying to test failure scenarios and try to understand if what would happen if a failure happens for example what would happen if an earthquake strikes delhi what would happen if an earthquake strikes mumbai so you continuously replicate that scenario try to understand how you would want to evacuate uh, the space and then what are the different uh, things you would need to operate would you need a fire brigade are there chances of fire during an earthquake would you need a set of ambulances to carry people to the hospitals would you need uh, a lot of medical staff and so on so this is something which you have to do it in the aws environment so if you are doing this then you are basically a part of operational excellence because what you're doing is you ex you are excelling in in operations that means you are trying to uh, understand and mitigate each and every failure beforehand before it occurs so so that when it occurs you are well prepared 
Now this testing the scenario, it has nothing to do with cost optimization. In fact, if you test more scenarios, you are actually increasing some portion of the cost. So definitely you are not optimizing the cost and you're not even doing a performance efficiency or security. It has nothing to do with security because irrespective of you know who logs in, for example, earthquake, you would say, hey, you know what? Uh, Infosys campus, uh, eighth floor, only CIO, CEOs or executives can enter. But if it's an earthquake, do you really care? Do you really uh, kind of worry about what is the security? You would just say, you know what? Everybody has to evacuate. Everybody has to come down. If there is a fire in the building, everybody needs to get down. So that's why security is not important here. So this is my final answer. If you have not yet subscribed, this will help you with onboarding with the cloud journey. There is a link in the description. The free content plus the paid content will help you elevate your chances of clearing the certification. Now, the amount of questions on this playlist is pretty huge. If you kind of manage to go through the entire playlist, now many people would say that, hey, you know what, there are some videos which are a year old. It does not matter, man. The concepts are exactly the same except that new services get onboarded. And the reason I keep posting new questions, new contents is because I want people to be updated with the new concepts, new services being launched and so on. So focus on this, focus on the concepts and you would be able to clear the certification. Now there is a part 86 in the members area, uh, Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja members. Click the link in the description or click the join button below this video and become a member, okay? See you in the next part.